there's a scary new revelation from science, and it's not what you think. Hello, and welcome to, Live Above 3D. How would aliens contact us? Well, scientists have been listening for radio signals from aliens for decades. The universe is so large that, if the Earth represented the universe, then a one-hour flight represents two billion light years of travel. It seems like this kind of journey was never meant to be made, even by radio signals. Yet there is another way. Theoretically, if you move to a dimension where there is no time, then billions of years would pass in zero seconds. One other way is to use entanglement. Quantum entanglement is when the properties of one particle are linked to those of another, even over vast distances. Simply put, entangled particles could be used to communicate over intergalactic distances. This is possible, even though scientists swear that there is no transfer of information between entangled particles. Extra-dimensional travel and entanglement make it possible for humans to be contacted by otherworldly beings. How would this work? Many believe that the human spirit can exist beyond the physical. That is another way of saying that the human spirit is extraterrestrial. In part 2 of the video, If God Exists, Where Is They? We showed how humankind lost its extraterrestrial ability. Now research by the University of Greenwich and the Imperial College London into DMT seem to be unlocking our extraterrestrial ability. DMTs are a psychedelic, a kind of drug, capable of producing radical shifts in conscious experience. Research has many uses of DMT experiencing otherworldly beings. According to one, DMT hurls the user into a bizarre hyperdimensional world full of extremely intelligent entities. We may be in contact with otherworldly beings, yet there is a catch. We have invested so much emotion, time and effort believing and pursuing contact with aliens over three-dimensional space and time. This means that we may resist any idea contrary to our investments. Yet the evidence is beginning to tilt in favor of extra dimensions and extraterrestrial communication. Hmm. Dear scientist, take that bold step and rethink. Thanks for listening. Love us, hate us, like us, follow us. Do it now.